This is really a unique opportunity to own a piece of Montana history. This is Ben Steele's art studio, custom built in his backyard. And while the entire property is for sale, if you're looking for a smaller token to take home, you can even buy the very paint brushes that he used to work with. From the spots of paint on the studio floor to the towering pines planted by the family decades ago, the Steele family home is full of personal touch and memory. Everything that you keep, uh, you keep because of, it, of the memories. 98-year-old Shirley Steele remembers the day she and her husband and their family moved in more than 60 years ago. Oh, that's a picture of me. While the house itself has a story to tell, the family inside left a legacy in the world of Montana art, and Ben Steele's story is part of American history. And he always thought uh, art and artists, that this was, it was like a big mystery. It was magic. Uh, and he never dreamed of being an artist growing up. Steele, originally from Roundup, joined the Army Air Corps in World War II and survived the Bataan Death March and three and a half years in a Japanese POW camp. Shirley says it was art that helped him survive. He felt he was losing his mind, so he started to draw. His drawings depicting life in the prison camp led him to national fame, but Shirley also remembers the years of sketches, watercolor, and oil paintings done in the family home of his beloved Montana. He, he had a lot of favorite rivers, and he fished them all. Shirley moved out of the home three years ago into an assisted living facility, and her daughter Julie Jorgensen says oh, getting the sale really together horrible. has been a long process. I want to share him. I, I hope I'm, everyone gets a piece of him, and all, I want all my friends to have something because he was so amazing. And I'm willing to share as much as I can. Most of Steele's paintings are held by family, private and museum collections, and in a new art museum opening on the University of Montana campus. But there are pieces of their life for sale inside the house, allowing the Steele legacy to pass on. It's not the actual thing, but it's the, it's the memories connected with it. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.